Good afternoon and welcome to a thriving Thursday. We are here for our weekly read aloud and it is that time of year again. K-5 students are transitioning to first grade. Fifth grade students are transitioning to middle school. Our eighth graders are on their way to high school. Our high schoolers are on their way to trade schools and four-year colleges and jobs and traveling and entrepreneurship. And of course, our college students are graduating and on their journeys of life. And of course, I had to read a story to go along with this auspicious occasion. And so our book for today is called Oh, the places you'll go by none other than Dr. Seuss. Now, I know there's been a lot of controversy with Dr. Seuss, but I have to say that this particular book, Oh, the places you'll go, the message that is in this book is so appropriate for not only graduates, but also life in general. So, oh, the places you'll go. Here we go. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who decides where to go, the guy or the gal. <laughs> You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen and fr frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew, just go right along. You'll start happening too. All oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in a lurch. It can happen. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You 
you will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lit, but mostly are dark. A place you can sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right, or right and three quarters, or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple, it's not, I'm afraid you will find. For a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start into race down long wiggled roads at a break, break necking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space headed, I fear, toward a most useless place, the waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go or for a bus to come or for a plane to go or for mail to come or for the rain to go or for the phone to ring or for snow to snow or waiting around for a yes or a no or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting, waiting for the fish to bite or waiting for wind to fly a kite or waiting around for Friday night or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake or a pot to boil or a better break or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip-flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of guy or gal. <laughs> oh, the places you'll go. There is fun to be done. There are points to be scored, there are games to be won, and the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win cause you'll play against you. Woo. <laughs> All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, onward, up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far, and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. But be sure when you step, step with care and great tact and remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget 
to be dexterous and deft and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 fourth percent guarantee. Kid, you'll move mountains. Be your name Buxbum or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai, Ali, Van Allen, O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. The end. Oh, the places you will go. I do hope you enjoyed our story for today. Go out, young people, and be great. Just us and books. <laughs>